What's up guys? It is your friendly neighborhood van dweller, Matt Watson, coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. And tonight, I have a show at a club that I haven't performed at since 2020. In fact, it was the only show that I was able to do over the course of lockdown here in Melbourne. And I am booked back at it tonight. It is Club Voltaire. I got my drone all charged up and ready to go. I got a notebook full of new jokes to try. And of course, some old classics. It is time for this van dweller to do some stand-up comedy. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? So I've been biking quite a bit in this city. In fact, that's the main thing that I've been doing on account of I started playing ice hockey here and uh, apparently that helps your legs. But I decided to take the uh, the tram tonight because we're, you know, we're doing a show. I don't want to show up there all sweaty. And I actually prefer it in this scenario because there's nothing I enjoy more than taking public transit in a foreign city going to do stand-up comedy. That combination of activities is actually quite familiar to me and makes me feel like uh, I'm right at home. All I can say is I hope there's more people at this gig than there are on this tram. All right, I think we've made it. It was, it, it felt super dingy last time because the street was deserted because it was COVID times, but it turns out uh, that's just the street. <laughs> that's just the place where the comedy is. And to be honest with you, that works out all right for me. She's a really sweet lady, man. Uh, she's got this uh, Shih Tzu, and we brought the Shih Tzu to get a haircut the other day. And when we picked the dog up from the hairdresser, the hairdresser hands us the dog, says, I cut its hair, uh, and I cleaned its anal glands. Yeah, I get haircuts all the time. I didn't know that was an option. You know, they're always asking you what you want. I never thought to bring it up. Like, hey, I'm thing on the top, so if uh, you could leave that a little bit longer, I like to spread everything out, play a zone defense up there. Uh, I like to do a number three on the sides. If you wouldn't mind giving the old glands a gloss at the end of this thing, that'd be amazing. I'm telling you, man, the friggin' haircuts and anal, you know, that's... Right? Well, I don't know, I can't, I can't picture a barbershop doing very well under that name. Very niche market, I reckon. The weirdest thing is, we didn't ask her to clean the dog's anal glands. Not only did we not ask her, she didn't charge us for it. She did it on the house. If there's anything you're gonna do on the house, it's not clean somebody's anal glands. And my girlfriend was saying like, oh, maybe she likes it. I'm like, well, we need to get this dog a new hairdresser then. That's what I'm worried about, what's happening behind closed doors. All the money we're saving on this dog's glands, we're gonna be spending it on therapy. <laughs> Oh man, that was so much fun. When new jokes work, there is nothing better. Is that my tram? That's my tram. Should have biked. Well, I'm not gonna let that ruin my night. Come on, Hey, you big beautiful person. By watching this video, you're already supporting me. So thank you so much for doing that. If you wanna go a little bit extra, you could feel so good about yourself because it helps me out a ton. Just give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and send it to a friend. Be like, check this guy out. He is hilarious. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next week.